Every year since 2018, astronomers have spotted a mysterious blue flash in the sky. It is one of the brightest phenomena in the universe, an explosion that makes the average supernova look like a faintly lit candle in the distance. Some have been spotted closer to us and others billions of light years away. They look similar enough to one another, but no one knows what they are or what causes them. Through rigorous observation and analysis, astronomers began decoding a pattern and formulating a tentative but plausible theory. Until, in 2023, they saw something that left them completely baffled. These explosions are called luminous fast blue optical transients, and there's simply nothing else like them out there. as we unravel the enigma of space's most dazzling eruptions, exploring how they came to light and why they continue to baffle scientists time and again. Despite being a recent discovery, our understanding of luminous fast blue optical transients, or LF bots, remains scarce. The inaugural LF bot was spotted a mere six years ago in 2018, and sightings have been rare ever since. With so little data at our disposal, reaching a consensus on a universal definition proves to be a daunting task. However, scientists concur on certain shared traits among LF bots, providing a foundation for further investigation. So far, all LF bots exhibit a distinctive blue glow, boasting exceptionally high optical luminosity and emitting bright X-rays, ultraviolet rays and radio waves. Remarkably swift, LF bots live up to their name by flashing like cosmic cameras. They swiftly soar to peak brightness before fading rapidly, often within hours or days. Contrastingly, supernovae adhere to a similar brightening and dimming pattern, but their decline occurs over weeks or months. LF bots' ephemeral nature poses challenges for observation and analysis. So how did we catch a glimpse of these elusive phenomena? NASA's Atlas HKO telescope, stationed in Hawaii, contributes to an early asteroid impact warning system, scanning the entire sky multiple times each night to detect moving celestial objects. On June 16, 2018, during its nightly scan, Atlas HKO witnessed an extraordinary event, a flash 100 times brighter than a typical supernova, vanishing within days. The scientific community swiftly sprang into action, poring over the data to decipher this intriguing phenomenon. Their investigations revealed the explosion originated in the Hercules constellation, a staggering 180 million light years distant. Dubbed AT-2018 Cow, affectionately nicknamed the Cow, it was promptly classified as a Type 1b supernova. These core collapse explosions occur when massive stars crumple under their own gravitational pull. However, upon closer examination of the cow's emission spectrum, scientists noticed something peculiar. It didn't quite match the typical profile of a Type 1b supernova. Rather than displaying the expected narrow emission lines, the cow exhibited unusually broad lines and notably weak helium lines. Scientists initially thought it looked a lot like a Type 1 CBL supernova, so they changed its classification. But as they dug deeper into the data, they found surprises. The more they studied, the more puzzled they became. This explosion didn't fit the usual supernova pattern. It started to seem different from a regular supernova, it didn't match what scientists expected. First off, it appeared suddenly, catching everyone off guard. This explosion went from quiet to super bright in just a few days. Supernovae typically take much longer to reach their peak brightness and fade away. Not just that, it blazed 10 to 100 times brighter than your average supernova, and the way it burst was totally off. Usually, when supernovae go boom, they do it in a neat round shape. But this one, 
it's like it had a mind of its own. Shock waves from a supernova can mess with its shape, bending it out of round due to powerful magnetic fields. But here's the kicker. When they took a closer look, this strange explosion wasn't even round. Scientists labeled it the wonkiest explosion they'd ever seen. Soon, folks started throwing around other ideas. Maybe the cow was a colossal black hole tearing apart a star that got too close. Or perhaps it was a supernova birthing a new black hole or neutron star. But hold on a sec. It's tough to jump to conclusions with just one example of something. Like the saying goes, one time is weird, twice is curious, and three times is a trend. Researchers were itching for more data, more of these unusual explosions, to see if they could spot any patterns. Thankfully, they didn't have to wait long for a second one to pop up. In September 2018, the cosmic camera flashed once more. And then, in 2020, it happened again, marking the third sighting. Following the tradition of naming them after animals based on their official names, we now had the koala and the camel to join the cow. With data on three LFBOT events, researchers could finally begin searching for patterns. When examining the cow, koala and camel, researchers noticed something intriguing. Despite occurring in different corners of the universe, each explosion originated within the spiral arm of a galaxy. Initially, this seemed to support the idea that LFBOTs were merely a variation of core collapse supernovae. Let me break it down for you. The stars behind core collapse supernovae are massive, some of the grandest stars out there. And here's the kicker. Big stars don't hang around for ages. Nope, they burn bright and fast. So before you know it, they're ready to go out with a bang. Picture this, a massive star burning bright in its stellar cluster. It's like the rock star of the universe shining with all its might. But because it's burning so fiercely, its days are numbered. These stars don't have time to take a leisurely stroll through space before they meet their cosmic fate. So where do you think these stellar explosions happen? Right in their own backyard. These massive stars like to keep things local and their supernovae tend to pop off close to home near the star cluster where they first came into being. It's like the grand finale of a fireworks show right where it all began. Now, where do you find these star-studded clusters? In the spiral arms of galaxies, that's where. And guess what? That's exactly where we spotted all three LF bots. But just when scientists thought they were onto something, bam. Another curveball came their way. Enter the Zwicky Transient Facility, a ground-based camera stationed much like the Atlas HKO in Hawaii. This high-tech marvel doesn't miss a beat, sweeping across the entire northern night sky every couple of days. It's like having a cosmic watchdog, keeping an eye on the heavens for anything out of the ordinary. Fast forward to 2022, and lo and behold, the Zwicky Transient Facility spots yet another explosion. But this one's a bit of an oddball. Unlike its predecessors, this optical firecracker, dubbed the Tasmanian Devil, doesn't follow the usual script. Instead of a quick flash followed by a fade out, it keeps popping off short bursts for way longer than anticipated. And get this, each burst shines as brightly as the initial blast. Now, if that isn't peculiar, I don't know what is. As we wrap up this fascinating exploration of space catastrophes and evolutionary resilience, remember, this is just the beginning. There's a universe of knowledge waiting to be uncovered, and we're just scratching the surface. If you're hungry for more space revelations and mind-bending discoveries, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. By subscribing, you'll stay updated on all our upcoming space science educational videos, including the next installment of this captivating series. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and thank you for watching until the very end. Together, let's continue to explore the wonders of the universe and expand our understanding of space. See you in the next video.